Hi, this is Sain. Today I would like to share the principal disjunctive and conjunctive normal forms of logical expressions. Before we start, let's discuss what is normal forms. Normal form is actually a standard form that must fulfill certain criteria. First, we can only apply disjunctive, conjunctive, and negation. We are not allowed to use imply if and only if and brackets in bracket. Secondly, we have to evolve all the primitive statements and their negations. For example, if let's say in a logical expression, we have P, Q, and R as a primitive statements. Then we must have P, Q, R, and all their negation. So not P, not Q, and not R. Third, we have to use the same connective to connect all the possibilities. For example, if we say a logical expression involves one, two and three possibilities then we have to apply the same connective for example disjunctive all the time or conjunctive all the time then within each possibility we have to use the opposite connective for example when we apply disjunctive outside the bracket then inside the bracket, we use conjunctive. Then when we apply conjunctive outside the bracket, then we use disjunctive inside the bracket. Okay, let's go to the example. Before we write the principal disjunctive normal form or the principal conjunctive normal form, let's fill up this through table to decide how many possible outcomes we have always refer to the primitive statements that we have for example in this logical expression as we can see we have three different letters namely p q and r so all together we have three primitives so we apply the formula to the power of three then we obtain 8. So that's why we should have 8 rows here. Then we just apply the rule half. So what's the meaning of half? Every time we just take the number over 2. When 8 divided by 2, we have 4. So we just have to split the true or false into the number that we calculated. 8 divided by 2, 4. So we should have 1, 2, 3, 4 of true. Then 1, 2, 3, 4 of false. Then we continue to the second column, also apply the half rule. So 4 divided by 2, we obtain 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2, then 1, 2, and 1, 2. Then again, apply the half rule. So 2 divided by 2 equal to 1. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. Okay, after we're done, we can now refer to the expression. As we can see, we have a lot of brackets here. So what we have to do here is we split the bracket. So as we can see, we have the first bracket as not p and q so we have not p then we open a column called not p and not p and q then we have another bracket here so q imply r so we have q imply r then a bigger one we have q imply r disjunctive with p then the last one is to connect them with 
if and only if and this is our expression of a so we complete the not p so not p negation of p means that not true must be false we have the opposite true value not true is false 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 not false is true so true 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 okay so what we have to do next is compare the negation of p and q so what we have here is conjunctive for conjunctive must be both true then only we have true so for the first one is true and false so it's supposed to be false as long as we see one false then we should have a true value of false okay so the fifth we have true and true so we result in true and so for the sixth row then for the last two false then we continue to the next column q imply r so for q imply r the way that i apply here is i will first refer to the input i will call that this is input and this is output so we refer to the input whenever input is wrong what is the output is not important you will always have true so whenever false as input we will have true value then already done for input then we press it to output so for the output we just have to follow the true value so this is true this is false followed by okay all true false so true false then we continue with union so as we see disjunctive as long as one of them now we have to refer to q imply r and p so as long as one of them true then we will have true so meaning to say we just have to refer column by column so whenever we see the true value then we write true so we already completed the left hand side now we move to the right hand side so right hand side here also true then we write true then this one both of them false then we write here false okay next we can now complete the expression so for if and only if as long as left hand side and right hand side same regardless true or false same then we will result a true value we compare this and this to obtain the expression of a so as we can see left hand side right hand side as long as left hand side and right hand side same we will have true so not same false so the first row false true so we have false since it's different so same to second third and fourth so for the fifth as we can see same so true then followed by false again false again and false the, the two values of not a all positive so we have through 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 false through through and through okay so what we have to do now here is uh, let's say we would like to form the principal disjunctive normal form of a so what we have to do we just 
refer to the column A. So as we can see, we have one true value over here. So this is considered inside the bracket and we have only one possibility. For disjunctive normal form, we should have disjunctive to connect different possibilities. But we don't have different possibility here. As we can see, we have only one true. So we will use inside the bracket the first combination. Outside bracket, we use disjunctive. Inside bracket, we use conjunctive. So as we can see, we see false, true, and true. What's the meaning of false? False means that the P should be false. So not P, then we have Q, we have R. What to do? We use conjunctive. So we have not P and Q and R. So when we refer to the not A, so the P, D, and F of not A, so we can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. What to connect them? We will use disjunctive. Disjunctive. So union, 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 and union. So next, what we have to do here is we refer to the respective rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows in total. So meaning to say we will have seven different possibilities. So within each possibility or what we call inside the bracket, then we should use the opposite connective, means that the conjunctive. So we have through, through, through. Then we write. P, Q, and R. So conjunctive, conjunctive. So next we have true, true, false. P, Q, and not R. True, true, false. Then the next we have true, false, true. So P is true, Q is false, R is true. So again, conjunctive then the fault through false false through false and false so again conjunctive then the fifth false through false then the second last we have false false through and the last one we have all false so false false and false so again conjunctive to connect them okay next how let's say we would like to find the p c and f of a so as we can see, we already formed the P, D, and F here. Now we move to the P, C, and F. So before I refer to the true table, I will link disjunctive and conjunctive. I know that if I negative, I take the negation of disjunctive, then I actually get the conjunctive. In other words, I take the negation of conjunctive, then I will obtain disjunctive. So by using this relationship, I can actually refer to what we already done and then we proceed what we want instead of referring the 
through table again and then we will refer the row one by one so since i want the negation of disjunctive in order for me to get the conjunctive so but then this is a so in order to have the negation then i should bling with the negation of a because negative negative we get positive in other words the p c and f is actually the negation of p d and f not a so negation disjunctive conjunctive negation negation a then we get a so we refer to this then we just apply the negation so negation of p we obtain negative p then negation conjunctive we obtain disjunctive then we just have to press it in this way then we obtain the correct answer so negation of disjunctive we obtain conjunctive then negation p disjunctive okay then we proceed to finish it now let's proceed to the p c and f of not a so p c and f of not a is equivalent to the negation of p d and f of a so negation d become c negation a become not a so we have we just take the negation of this logical expression so we have negation negation no more so p negative conjunctive disjunctive so negation q negation r okay then we done okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you